Hey guys, it's Lei Hua here, and uh, today is my first day at uh, it's Walmart, and uh, my first onboarding uh, meeting is about like uh, to start in about 30, 30 minutes. I'm very excited, and uh, you know, just want to share um, my feelings, you know, my real feelings right now, and uh, uh, I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> it's because I'm very excited for the new, like uh, you know. Uh, New opportunity and uh, by the way I have received my com like a company computer which is a 100% new Mac so it's very beautiful right yeah it's very beautiful and uh, I will maybe uh, record another very short clip like uh, by the end of uh, uh, by the end of uh, uh, today and uh, to show how how the you know the onboarding process like uh, uh, goes Okay, that's all for now. Uh, thank you. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Just uh, a quick update of my uh, onboarding process at uh, Walmart. You know, today is my first day at Walmart Global Tech, the technology branch of uh, the Walmart company. And uh, my uh, my first meeting started at uh, five eight eight thirty a.m. And uh, my last meeting with my manager. Uh, ended at about like 5.30 ish so you can see you know the it has been a really uh, long long day for me and uh, I, that's why I look a little bit like exhausted and uh, also also my voice is uh, a little bit like dry and also deep it's because you know I spoke too much right hey guys welcome to my channel this is Lei Hua and today is my second day at Walmart um, in the morning, I attended a, a, a conference on experimentation in the field. You know, you know, a, a lot of like top companies they have, they have been uh, attending and presenting uh, like their new findings. Uh, maybe my biggest takeaway is how other tech companies like uh, Netflix they are doing, uh, you know, experimentation in, at a large scale. You know, so doing. Uh, experimentation ad hoc for example run experiments um, maybe five times a year or ten times a year uh, is a totally different uh, use case when you want to run hundreds even thousands of uh, uh, you know concurrent tests at the same time because it involves a lot of engineering uh, infrastructure uh, you know efficient computing you know how do you deal with different like uh, tests well we, and uh, at the same time you have to want you want to control the false positives or the interference among different like uh, uh, um, tests so it is quite tricky you know and also very challenging you know for you to uh, you know uh, to deal with or to work on so as a data scientist I'm very excited for the for the challenge and also the learning opportunities that I can get from other more experienced top folks in the field so I'm, I'm very excited for the new like uh, for the new applications of uh, experimentation also I'm very grateful for other folks who are willing to share their like learnings and knowledge so yeah that's all from from me yeah I will maybe update another one you know in the evening yeah stay tuned see ya bye hey guys uh, it's Lei Hua today is December 9th uh, Thursday it's my fourth day working at Walmart and uh, so far I enjoyed so much the company culture my teammates especially my, uh, my product manager and also my direct manager they have been very helpful um, honestly I still cannot believe I'm working at uh, uh, you know Walmart you know the fortune one company you know in the world so it's uh, it's been really uh, long journey and also I'm, I'm being very lucky you know, to be here actually for the last two days um, I attended uh, like a, a, a conference um, you know the main, main thing is about experimentation cause of inference uh, it's about you know different companies Netflix uh, Pinterest um, it, it's you know all these la large companies um, they come they came to the conference and presented their uh, new findings you know I found most of the findings and most of the research 
quite uh, interesting and relevant to my area. Uh, especially, um, uh, there's one uh, particular methodology adopted at uh, uh, Netflix. Um, you know, I really want to uh, incorporate this methodology uh, into my own research, and uh, it is be it is very useful and practical. So. Um, maybe I will write a post or post another video about you can do, uh, you can apply this methodology in the future. So as for today, my goal is to uh, review uh, what I have learned for the past uh, four days, and also I will spend most of the time, you know, uh, um, learning more about the infrastructure of my of my team, especially, you know, uh, the hashing process, the infrastructure, the layers, you know, all these type, uh, you know, all these type of uh, uh, things. So, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's my plan for the day. I hope you guys have a great, uh, like, uh, Thursday as well. See ya. By the way, do you guys want to see my company computer? It's right here, you know, very beautiful. A Mac Pro, and uh, but I can't, I cannot show you the content. Yeah, stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Lei Hua. It has been a, a you know a, a full week, and uh, I'm I'm super excited for the for the like onboarding process. And my teammates, they have been very helpful. Uh, for the past maybe three days, more I spent uh, most of most of my time learning the engineering infrastructure, the hashing, you know, all, all different types of like uh, traffic allocation. So uh, there's a, a lot of learning and uh, onboarding. Uh, I think it's uh, very important to be familiar with the uh, data pipeline, especially uh, I have to work closely with my uh, like data engineer and also platform engineers. So. Uh, uh, as a data scientist, I need to know. Uh, a lot of times, my job is about uh, the uh, treatment assignment. You know, which which um, unit should I like randomize on? So this is very important for me to learn the engineering side of the platform. Otherwise, it would be very difficult to uh, truly understand. You know, the unit of analysis or unit of uh, randomization. I'm very uh, uh, grateful for the for the learning process and my teammates. Uh, a big shout out to my um, colleagues and uh, my managers. You know they have they have been super helpful and supportive during the process. Um, maybe the biggest challenge so far is how to get up like uh, uh, earlier because my uh, usual routine is getting up like ten thirty even even like 11 a.m. But all right, so it's a bit, it, it has been like a, you know, a lot of fun and I really enjoy it. Stay tuned for more.